Hello everyone, and this is a Geek Must Have with a project build of a overhead camera rig. What you're looking at is my desk. Excuse the mess. Well, it's not like anybody else who builds things doesn't have a mess. What you're seeing in the middle, made out of white PVC pipe, is Charlotte. And this is the sad story of my breakup between Charlotte and me. I designed Charlotte. I built Charlotte. I was in love with Charlotte. The story of this romance can be found in my video, uh, GMH11, which I'll put a link to up in the upper corner. It was only after a few months that I discovered that sometimes your first design of something is not necessarily your best design. One of the design criteria was that it would be portable and easy to disassemble. And guess what? That never happened. I never moved this thing off my desk, and I never took it apart once. It was mostly a permanent structure. And no matter how much I tried, I couldn't get the legs to lie flat, so the stand always wobbled, so much to the point where when I uploaded a Google video, it said, your, your video is shaky. Would you like us to stabilize it? The stand divided the work area into three chunks of space and the space on the right and the left was pretty much so small that it made it unusable. And the legs also got in the way of just about everything, the soldering iron, the meters, anything I used. The crossbar that held the one supporting light was also right in the middle of the two displays getting in the way. The lighting was so close to the surface that it caused some very unusual reflections in some of the videos. Here is where the camera is located, and it was on a long extended PVC pipe, which also vibrated, adding to the instability of the videos I took. My design choice of using PVC pipe was based on the idea that I thought this would be cheap, inexpensive, and easy to build, and it didn't turn out too well. So I decided to redo the stand, only this time building it stronger out of cast iron pipe and flanges. I took Charlotte off the desk and disassembled her, and this was what was left. My plan is to salvage those cable ties and use them on the metal uprights. Here you can see the three-quarter inch flange that I am going to mount to the desk, which means I have to drill holes in it. Now, while most people don't want to drill holes in their desk, this desk is almost 20 years old. So I didn't mind drilling holes in it if, if it meant that the overhead rig would be more stable. I used a push punch to put an indentation in the desk so that the drill had a good place to start from. I started out drilling a smaller set of holes and then moving up to a larger bit and drilling a new set of holes to avoid from splitting the wood. Finally, I used some fairly heavy duty bolts, washers, lock washers, and nuts and screwed the flange to the tabletop and did the same to the other side. Then I installed the 36 inch high, three quarter inch uprights to those flanges by screwing them in tightly. So I screwed a set of three quarter inch T's to the top of those uprights with the idea that I would have a half inch pipe slide through there that would be the crossbar. I soon realized that that crossbar wasn't gonna stay in place without something to hold it steady. The half inch crossbar pipe was too long and I needed to cut about six inches off of the end. So using an angle grinder, I cut off the end of the pipe. Then using my regular grinder, I rounded off the edge of the pipe so there wouldn't be any sharp edges. Then using a push punch, I put a divot in the metal T to give the bit something to grip onto. 
Then using the same technique as I did with the desk, I drilled a small hole and moved up to a larger bit and drilled a hole for the 10 millimeter bolt that I was going to add. Then using my trusty Sears and Roebuck 10 millimeter tap, I tapped a hole by screwing it slightly and then backing it off until I got a nice clean threaded hole. I then tested the threaded hole by screwing in a 10 millimeter bolt and while it was tight it actually was what I was looking for so that it wouldn't back out. Of course it's not a real project until a little blood has been spilt. <laughs> then I transferred the magnetic mount from the PVC pipe on to the metal pipe with a couple of hose clamps and the magnet there connects to the magnet that's located at the bottom of the camera so the camera easily mounts and dismounts from the stand. This is what it looks like when the camera is attached to the pipe and it is on the stand. Here is the finished unit and we'll zoom in and take a look at the flange mounted to the desk with those four heavy duty bolts. Then there's the upright that goes to the T which has a threaded hole in it with the 10 millimeter bolt, a cross brace to another T, to a couple of elbows and then there's the camera. Then the other part of the cross brace to the next T, down the upright to the other flange mount. After doing some research, uh, I discovered that the shiny surfaces inside of my lights wasn't delivering as much light as I wanted and that if you painted them white, that it would actually reflect more light. Even though I'm using LED lights that are at uh, 4700 Kelvin, uh, they still generate heat. So I decided to use high heat Rust-Oleum white paint to paint the insides. As I mentioned, I decided to salvage the cable ties by unscrewing them from the PVC pipe and got quite a collection. I decided to improve the lighting by using these under cabinet plug-in lights and increasing the number of lights I used. And these are linkable lights. These under counter lights have a 4100K Kelvin range, which is fairly good for doing filming. By prying off the end cover of one of the lights, you expose the plug end of the lamp and they supply a set of cables to attach one light to another to link them together. Then using some reusable cable ties, I fastened the lights to the uprights and the crossbar of the stand. And you can see here the cord hanging out to connect to the next light. This is the finished overhead camera rig with the extra lights zip tied to the top and sides and the repainted spotlights with the camera hanging off of the top. This is a very sturdy rig. When I lived in Arizona I had a handy name whose name is Joe, hello Joe, who used to build things for me and when he was done he would look at it and proudly say this is so strong, you could have sex on it. After learning my lessons about using PVC pipe, I decided to use metal pipe, and I'm much happier with the outcome here. This is my new girlfriend, and her name is Natalia. <laughs>